Depending upon where you live in the world, we have different issues. But living in the Muslim world, you might not have had a first-hand experience with Islamophobia. But for most of us living in the world as a minority, a little bit of racism and discrimination. Islamophobia is something we deal with. It's not insurmountable. We need not be so much bothered by it. In any part of the world living as a minority, you probably are going to have some issues. But there's a threshold when it goes beyond that level. It becomes unbearable. We need to take action within our means legally, socially possible to promote harmony. Here, we are referring to Australia. A new report has found that incidents of anti-Muslim hatred increased after the Christchurch incident. The incidents were recorded on the Islamophobia Register Australia IRA, and have been collated by a team of researchers from Charles Sturt University. The third Islamophobia in Australia report is based on incidents reported by victims, proxies, and witnesses during 2018 and 2019, which amount to 247 verified incidents, that is 138 physical and 109 online, compared to 349 incidents in the 2019 report and 243 incidents in the 2017 report. The location of incidents showed that 63% of anti-Muslim harassment takes place in crowds and busy public places like shopping centers, public transport, pools, and playgrounds. Hold on, hold on. Now imagine the number of unreported cases and mental health issues Muslim students face. So basically, we can't even feel safe in public places. The IRA recorded a spike in the reporting of offline and online incidents, an 18-fold increase in online Islamophobic abuse within two weeks of the Christchurch massacre. Furthermore, Online hatred could easily socialize individuals towards physical violence, and offline violence could spark more violence online. Islamophobia is not a Muslim problem. It is a risk to our social cohesion, said the report's chief investigator, Daria Einer, urging national engagement if Australia is to live up to its multicultural legacy. Brothers and sisters, I would say if a country is democratic, if Islamophobia is being used to win elections, it's very unhealthy, isn't it? People are being misled. I mean, it instills fear in masses about the thing they don't know. I know the report is shocking. In other parts of the world, it has its levels. Let's make this world a better place. In the hot global climate of Islamophobia, I will tell you, you are a blessing as a Muslim. Wherever you go, you carry Islam. Maybe being kind, being honest, being the nicest friend, offering food, giving genuine caring advice, anything good you do is going to have a positive impact. You are a blessing to the people who don't have Islam in their lives. We all want empathy and sympathy for being Muslims when we are victims. But let's remove our anger on people who are not responsible for this. Let's not violate laws. Lastly, do not wish for problems. May Allah grant us goodness and ease. Let's live a life with purpose. Do not be hopeless. Things are going to change. Indeed, the help of Allah is near. Hopelessness is from shaitan. Let's defeat shaitan by doing tawbah, by being grateful, by being hopeful. Brothers and sisters, although there are problems, at the same time, there's so many good things that we are not focusing on. Even things like a harsh Islamophobic climate can make us better Muslims. We need to improve our practice. That's it.